Hi, I'm Greg Garrett, and I'm here in Gladstone's library in Harden, Wales, to continue my conversation with you about unchristian politics. I'm here in one of the main reading rooms of the library. Uh, the library has 250,000 volumes, 30,000 plus of which were Gladstone's books themselves. There are two main reading rooms, one devoted to history, one devoted to theology. And that's one of the reasons why this is such an amazing place uh, to do writing and research about theology and politics. Uh, those were the twin interests that Gladstone brought together. We've been talking about um, the unchristian elements that seep into our politics because of our failure to pay attention to what our ultimate values are. We've talked a little bit about um, the unchristian politics that result when we divide ourselves, put a wall between ourselves and people that we disagree with. But often what happens when we uh, put a wall between ourselves and separate ourselves from others is a another element of unchristian politics. What uh, I think uh, we could only refer to as a lack of compassion. Um, it's something that results from fear and loathing. <laughs> it's a fairly well-known thing that we fear the things that we don't know well, and we tend to hate the things that make us feel fearful. And so it is in our contemporary political culture that Christians fear and hate non-Christians, Non-Christians fear and hate Christians, Republicans and Democrats, progressives and conservatives, conservatives and progressives. In my book, Faithful Citizenship, I tell a story about Ken Starr, who for many people was the bogeyman. Uh, if you were a Democrat in the 1990s, then he was a person with, you feared. Uh, and uh, not too long ago, he became my boss. And I discovered that he was actually a very different sort of person than I had imagined him to be. But my fear of him had led to my dislike of him, and it was impossible for me to understand or even attempt to understand who he was or what he did. The problem for us as Christians in this sort of behavior, the distancing, the fear, and the hatred that often results from that, is that we are commanded to love. It is the central commandment of the Christian faith. We are commanded to love God and our neighbor. Jesus says that this is the sum of all of Jewish law, of the teachings of the prophets. St. Augustine refers to this as the twofold commandment of love and says it is the central thing in who we are as Christians, that it's more important than dogma. It's more important uh, than any form of reading scripture. In fact, if we don't read scripture in such a way that it increases um, our love for God and for our neighbor, then he says it is a fallacious reading of scripture. And so it is that compassion, reaching out and connecting with those who are distant from us or different from us, should be part of our political life, and it so often is not. St. Isaac of Syria once said that the task of the spiritual person, of the spiritual Christian, was to develop a compassionate heart. And many of us find ourselves unwilling or unable to do that with those who are separated from us by the way they think, by the way they believe, by the way they live. And this is truly unchristian. In the Gospel of John, Jesus gives one commandment, and it's repeated in several places so that we understand how important it is to him and to his conception of what he's come to teach us. That commandment is love. Love each other as I have loved you. Love each other so much that you'll do anything for each other. Love each other so much that people will know that you are my followers. And until we're able to do that, our politics will continue to suffer. <laughs>